Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over a few predictions as to what we can potentially expect in the future here. So let's see what we have going on. Let's hop right into this. So Niantic did give us some dates in which we can expect the community days and then we have some other dates down below as they do go on to say community days aren't the only events on the horizon and then we do have Saturday December 3rd, December 10th, December 11th and December 24th but the thing is what we're going to be looking at is the classic community day for Larvitar, which is going to potentially be happening on January 21st. Now, this hasn't been confirmed. The only thing that I have backing this up is going to be fa the fact that Pokeminers found Larvitar as a photobomb. So maybe we're going to be seeing that because it's about that time for us to receive the classic community day for Larvitar into Tyranitar with Smackdown. Could it learn a new move? Potentially. Maybe. They did it for... Charmander into Charizard with Dragon Breath. So we do have that on the table. What could it learn? Snarl will be a great addition so we can spam its charge moves at a faster rate and giving it a new move for when it does receive its Mega. Another Mega or a few Megas down the line that we know for sure, at least Mega Galele is gonna be coming. And then we do have Mega Salamance, which looks freaking amazing. I personally have invested all my XL candies into my shadow because it is going to be doing more damage. But when it comes down to Mega Salamence, its time in battle is obviously going to be a lot longer. And we'll look at that here in just a moment. But first, let's go ahead and see where Mega Tyranitar does lie within the ranks of the Beasts of the Rock type. So we have Mega Deancey at the top, another one which is not here. Rampardos, we know is amazing as a Rock type attacker. I personally think you should make a full team of those if you have the resources to do so. Mega Aerodactyl. Shadow Tyranitar, which is outperforming its Mega like Mega Salamance. But here's the thing the DPS times TDO for the Shadow Tyranitar is not going to be even close to the Mega Tyranitar, meaning Mega Tyranitar is going to be able to stay in the battle a lot longer and dish out more damage. Same thing for the Mega Salamance and the Shadow Salamance. Shadow Salamance on paper right here, as far as raw damage per second, is going to be doing more. But when it comes down to the Mega Salamance, being in that battle, it is going to simply be able to take more hits and stay the fight longer, inevitably doing more damage, unless you did have a full team of Shadow Salamance powered up, in which, if you did, you are a baller, and you got a lot going on there for you. So, what can we expect? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe it might be a classic community, maybe not, but it is about that time because they're kind of cycling through from the oldest to the newest as far as those classic community days and bringing them back. We do have the December community day going down on the 17th and 18th. And in fact, we are only gonna be able to evolve the ones that you see on screen to receive their exclusive moves. Unfortunately, the other ones are not gonna be able to be evolved like Eevee to receive their moves unless it is again an error. We'll have to see, but they have not clarified anything like that. So that's the direction that we're going. Taking a look at my Tyranitars and Larvitars, I have a whole bunch of crappy IV ones because when it did come out, it was the best rock type attacker. Do believe we got this one with this community today, SmackDown before Rampardo, so it was just what you wanted because I was a raider and I needed to go hard. Looking at Mega Tyranitar stats, Rock and Dark type, of course, CP might get nerfed. That's a little uh, high there. 6,045, attack 309, defense 267, sorry, 276, and stamina 225. I actually corrected myself, which is crazy. I usually just go on oblivious of what I just said. So looks great right has a cool design mega tyranitar and it also is going to be receiving another form when it does get released because of the new generation 9 that it did get its future form and it looks futuristic i mean we got all kinds of stuff folks coming down the line that's why i was saying this is a forever game as long as game freak and the nintendo company continue to push pokemon content and new games pokemon go is always going to be relevant the only problem that we're facing now is the developing problems and the bugs that we do have in Pokemon Go. If they can sort those things out and not make it the perfect game, but make it so it runs smooth to some degree, to some capacity, calling this an eSport and blah, 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 makes no sense when you have something that is as buggy as it is and is un, just un, unpolished. It's just simply not good. Where you have features that are so busted and broken that they're actually starting to call them a feature, because they can't fix it or they're just uh, who, uh, who knows what's going on that's happened multiple times yeah you better believe it so looking at these dates again so potentially january 21st is when we're going to receive this community day for larvitar it's classic which it may receive smackdown it might get a new move who knows it would be cool to see a new addition to its move pool but at the same time i knew, do know that there's people out there that want 
the Tyranitar with SmackDown that are newer players that haven't received it yet. So we'll just have to wait and see. It might not even be that, but it's looking like that's the direction that we're going to be going for the next Classic Community Day. And really quick before we do take off here, are, here are all the moves that you can receive. All the ones that we're going to be able to evolve during December Community Day are going to be to the left, while the ones that we can evolve and not receive any moves for whatever reason, because they're probably going to be bringing back the Classic Community Days and they want us to partake in that and not be stacked up on everything beforehand to the right. So everything to the left is what you're going to be able to get. Uh, looks like Venusaur, Wall Rain, uh, Alolan Sandslash, Swampert, maybe Golem, Hydreigon, not so much Star Raptor, not so much Obstagoon. And not so much Chandelure or Dragonite or Ursaluna. Ursaluna with high horsepower is pretty good. But it's looking like the top ones are Venusaur, Walrein, and Swampert, Alolan Sandslash, and Hydreigon. Those are the ones you want to focus on. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you all next time. Take care. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Touch the deck. This is the best way.